Well, I'm not the biggest Nintendo in fan in the world, but fuck it, let's play some uh, MX 2002 Ricky, but before featuring Ricky Carmichael. I mean, the cartridge might be small, but there's no need to make that right and so goddamn small. You can't see shit on there. See MX 2002 and then fuck all else. So yes, uh, some MX 2002 for the Game Boy Advance. Played in my pink ass fucking Nintendo DS. Which sucks, baby. It doesn't really suck. I didn't pay much for it, but um, the fact that it's pink sucks really. It's a bit gay. Um, start Game Boy Advance game, yeah. This isn't the sort of game that you go into expecting a lot, just from its title. And press start, we can do that. And we'll go option, see if there's any difficulty. Level, there we go, easy. Alright, a little bit of easy. Ah, the exit, there we go. Right. Championship will do me. We'll go 250cc, baby. Yeah. And we'll go for... Uh, I've not heard of any of these. Other than Ricky Carmichael. So we'll go for him. Fuck it. Stick with what you know. Fucking music's pretty shit so far, sounds like a Mega Drive game. Not that the Mega Drive is shit, the music, but uh, of course it's not. I had games like Revenge of Shinobi, Streets of Rage, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, to name a few. But uh, this is a much more powerful system. So, uh, yes. Well, the Game Boy advances anyway. And of course the DS would be as well, but I, you know, I'm just saying, man. Um, yeah. This is pretty, uh, pretty lame. Got jumps, big silly ones. Might be more impressive if you played it on the Game Boy Advance. The mobile sounds aren't bad. Well, you know, compared to the music, anyway. Um, it's not the, the slowest moving game frame rate wise. Um, it's no stunt race FX on the Super Nintendo, but then again, it's no Gran Turismo 5 on the PS3, let's face it. So we're on easy mode. And uh, there just seem to be some cash up logic employed, but the problem is every time I get near the pack, I get knocked off my fucking bike, and there's no gap to get through. God damn you, shitty game! I don't like this one so far. Um, take them on the inside. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Big jump. Probably gonna crash in a second. Come on, come on, come on. And I've crashed. No, somebody T-boned me, actually. I'm not accepting responsibility for that shit. You can't even whip your bloody bike in the bloody air. It's all about the moto whips. This game must be pre-moto whip frenzy. God damn, it's races take quite a bloody while for the first race on a bloody handheld motocross game. For sake, how big's the track? Ah, oh, you bastards. It needs to be big track so you can crash many times. I like how there's not really any scenery, there's just the track and then the sky. <laughs> there's nothing in between. There's no, like, distant hills. It's like you're playing on a floating island in, in the middle of the air like of fucking that island what Knuckles lives on of Sonic and Knuckles oh, I'm, in, I'm in the lead 
I seem to be going around the exact same freaking corners constantly and it's fucking depressing. The whole track looks the same. All the corners seem the same. It's like Fisher Price, my first fucking track editor, was used to create his fucking game. Probably some free fucking freeware fucking download off the internet was used to program this pile of poop. Fucking boring. Bored, miserable, bored, tedious, fucking rubbish. This game is AIDS. I don't want to play it. Bored, miserable, tedious, AIDS. Bored, miserable, AIDS. It's bored, miserable, AIDS. Miserable, bored, miserable, AIDS. It's Ray Bees. Yeah, this game's gay. Fuck you, Rick and Carmichael. Why does a dude that rides motorbikes got fucking car in his name? And why's he got Michael in his name? Does he like to molest children? Oh my god, how long is this fucking track? Jesus fucking Christ, this is the whole length of the fucking video will be this one race. I'm probably gonna run out of fucking memory card to fucking record the footage for this fucking video. Jesus Christ, the exact same bloody turns and hills and... Ah! Oh look, a bit of variation, the bit that says finish. Oh my days, that was rubbish. The most boring racing game I've ever played on the Game Boy Advance. Then again, I've only played part two, so <laughs> go figure. And just for a bit of variation, we get the exact same fucking scenery, the exact same fucking road surface, and the exact, well, track surface, should I say, and the exact same fucking corners. This is not what I want to be playing after a hard week at work. This shit is boring me.